What's up all my beautiful Khmer people, we're back again with a brand new G Devitt song, Ditway song. This one is called Clean Sweep. So he just dropped this one two days ago and I wanted to react to it yesterday or the day it dropped but I wasn't, I wasn't able to. So much love to all my Khmer family texting me, DMing me every single day to react to this one. I love G Devitt, the guys obviously one of my favorite ever rappers. This one is written by Ditway, composed by Alvin Tra, produced by Ditway. Of course, man, much love to him and Bong, man, all my Bong out there, man, all my friends. I love you guys all. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what you guys think as well. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. It's free to subscribe, okay, for those who don't know, guys. I'm not looking for money off anyone. Unless you want to buy a t-shirt, guys, you can rock a t-shirt. County Gaines Gang t-shirt. Let's get straight to it, man. Let's go. Bro, I love this track. This is my new favorite G Devitt track. I love this track. I love it. The beginning, you know, that the sample almost sounded like Kanye West's song where he has the Italian football ultra singing, hey, oh. Kind of sounded like that a little bit, the sample at the beginning. That was awesome. And then the hi-hats came in were even better. That was fire. He's saying, producing my music is shaping like an art. Obviously, he's like a flippin', you know, he's shaping it like an art piece, guys. Like, with art music, or with, with music, you shape it as a sample, you rap it. With art, you paint it, you produce it. But also, he's saying that my music is so next level, it's so advanced, it's like an art piece. It's like the Mona Lisa of rap music. I love it guys. He said, but instead of writing it down or painting it, you play it in your ears through Bluetooth. I love that. What a fire bar. Come on. Too many despisers out there, too many haters out there. Be very careful, they ain't nowhere near us. So guys, let me tell you something. When you hear a hater, you hear someone that's close to you that's a hater or someone that's not you know, up to what you're trying to do in life, whether you're, it's your art piece or whatever you're trying to do in life, if they're on a different wavelength, let them, wish them good luck and never go near them ever again, guys. Stay as far away from them as possible, man. I'm, I'm talking about run away from these people, from these haters, guys. <laughs> I love that he said they're smiling, but don't be fooled by their smiling and their their, their happiness and their, their niceness towards you. They're all snake-like and they don't have any virtue. They, they have a snake-like virtue, guys. This is fire. This is a very, a very, um, very in-depth song. So the people close to him, and obviously G. Devitz is beefed with a lot of people in Cambodia, a lot of different rappers in Cambodia. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. I know what he's talking about here. He said that all they want to do is claim advantages and try and get one up on you, okay? There's nothing besides the copy and paste. They just want to copy your work, basically, and learn from you. They pretend to be cool when they're in front of the boss, so you're the boss, okay? And they're trying to be cool to you, try and, you know, get better in their regard, in their own work. But they failed their own project and they, and they blamed it on others. So a lot of people do that in rap music. He could be talking about Vanda as well. You know, when they had beef with Vanda, like he had beef with Vanda long, like last year, the year before, and then he released that Dragon song and stuff like that, guys, you know. And a lot of people, you know, argued with each other and they said that, you, you know, he was to blame for the bad work and stuff like that. But a lot of people beef in the Cambodian music, especially rap industry, and they blame it on other people, guys. <laughs> Wow. 
รวมเด็ดไว้จับตะเกียจะมาจะมาจะมาเก็มมุนไปเจงกันนัดไอ้แล้วมันลอยอันตาไปไปมอนยังมาจัดตายกิสุยังไม่ก็ทาลอยมองเธอได้ไทยมองเธอแต่ลอยยกตึงตะกอตั้งยังสบายนั่นเธอลอยยังมาคว้าเลยนอนนอนนอนยังนั่นตะคอนโทรบันโตโทรไม่บ่ายเย็นจอยกลางไอ้ยืนบินมันแรกกระแพงสกัดจำนายกายกำลังจนจำบังมันโตใจมีปวดคลาดกาดแต่สมดายลอยเลือดตะพอโซนโซนตะรีกามวยรอยไม่จังเยอะจังเธอไอ้กระตะเกียบดังแมนเธอจังตะลอยแมนนังไอ้กาแมนแม่ตาจังมันทำมันทำตัวตึงยอดที่นาที่นาเธอตะเจ็บบางการบางการในบทพิซซ่ามันทอมมันดา So he's saying wherever you go, you know, be aware of these people that wanted to gain stuff from me. You know, and then you know they—they're not guys. Okay, be aware in the future they'll do the same thing to me that they did to you. So he's probably talking about Vanda here, guys. Obviously, him and Vanda had a big beef in the past. He said, "I invest all my efforts to wrestle, and I don't act like an idiot. I don't act stupid. What if we want to work to be shallow?" So he said, "I don't want to be working with you because our work is going to be shallow and not very inventive and not very good." Okay, and obviously people beef for different reasons, guys. But you know, a lot of the time it's over miscommunication and over working. You know, you know, and different people hate each other's work, guys. You know, if you're making music, if you're doing any kind of art, people are very invested in it themselves. So if you try and change their art or critique their art in any way, they're gonna get very upset, guys, because obviously that's their, that's their, you know, their baby, guys. You know, that's their their number one effort. <laughs> That's fire. So he kind of he kind of explained the whole Vanda thing there. He said, "I'm a market right here. It ain't fair at all." He said, "I did what I did. I tried to hide. He tried he tried to hide the budget for their peers." So that was for was that Skull One that he's talking about? One of the albums that Vanda put out and. G. Devith worked with him on it. I'm pretty sure, and he said that they just wanted me to tag along. They didn't really want me to achieve, you know, my utmost potential, which is fair enough, guys. You know, if you want to go by yourself, go by yourself, but don't be blaming other people for whatever. But he said, I have to. You have to live with this ugly, burning, burning flame inside of you. Oh, that's cool, guys. So he's saying you have this karma on you, and we don't know for sure if he's talking about Vanda, but he did say it there at the end. About the whole, you know, the budget was not taken. Maybe he felt like he didn't get paid enough for his part to play in that album or those certain songs that they did together. So it is what it is, guys. Art and this music thing, a lot of beefing, guys. A lot of flipping competition. <laughs> Despises out there, but just worry that they know we're near us. Basically, it's a double entendre as well. We don't hang around the haters, but also we're so far above them that we don't even see the haters. I love that. <laughs> That's class, guys. I love it, man. I love it. G. Devith, nobody can touch G. Devith, man. All right, very, very few rappers can touch him. Him and Vander, the two best in Cambodian rap music. Much love to all my Khmer, you know, my Khmer um, fans and supporters. I love you guys all. Obviously, guys, you know, there's a lot of beef in Cambodian rap music. A lot of beef overall in music to overall, guys, because a lot of people don't want to see other people do well. You know, they they find. You know, hatred. Where if someone's doing better than them, they start to hate on them, and that's crazy, guys. You know, let me know your thoughts. I love you guys all. Much love and support to all my loyal followers. Hit that subs subscribe button, guys. We want to be the biggest YouTube channel in the world. Much love from Ireland to Cambodia. I'll see you guys soon, man. Stay free.